What's going on, people? What's going on? The media is finally talking about it. I mean, they're finally trying to somewhat press the fight between Chad Dawson and Andre Ward. So I felt it's time to do a prediction. Now I've I haven't watched any of the media takes and and the one on one conversations. I don't even know if they're beefing or nothing. I don't care. Really, I don't care. Uh, but here's my prediction slash breakdown of the fight. Uh, to me, this really is an easy one. Um, I'm going to say right off the bat, I think it's going to be close early with Andre Ward running away with it. Simply put, Andre Ward is going to run away with this fight. Uh, when it, I've said it before, Andre Ward... S-O-G! Had to say it. I had to say it at least once. Andre Ward has one of the best corners in the game. I mean, they game plan a fight to the T. You cannot knock that. And the fact that Andre Ward can come at you at many different styles, it's going to make it very difficult for Chad. I mean, for... for uh, Chad Dawson. Chad Dawson is a technical fighter. He stays behind his jab and, and looks for openings. He stays behind his jab and looks for openings. If the openings never come, bad Chad don't never throw his right hand. It's sad. Well, left hand. Whatever. I'm, I'm not even trying to think about it right now. He don't throw his power hand. He looks for openings. He pauses, looks for openings. Looks for openings, puts, pops his jab out there, looks for openings, and then he pop you. I don't think those openings are going to be there. And I'm going to go back to Chad Dawson versus a uh, uh, European dude uh, that he lost to. Uh, what is that guy's name? I can't even think of his name right now. Uh, John Pascal. When he fought Jean Pascal, Jean Pascal is not a technical boxer. He's an ambush fighter. He jumps in, flurries, jumps up. Jumps in, flurries, jumps up. And he keeps doing that until he gets tight. And that befuddled Chad John, um, Chad Dawson. He couldn't never get his rhythm. He's all he's still trying to paw with his jab. He was trying to time him, but with with uh Jean Pascal jumping in, flurrying, and jumping out, he never could do it. Now, I do think he learned something with his two, well, I won't even say two, one and a quarter bouts with with uh, Bernard Hopkins, who's also an ambush fighter. So he, he understands the ambush fighter just a little bit more. But it's one difference between Jean Pascal and Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins is a crafty veteran ambush fighter Jean Pascal until he tires out in like the 6th or 7th round is a very athletic ambush fighter and so it made it easier for him to deal with uh, Bernard Hopkins com uh, compared to uh, Jean Pascal so when I think of SOG Andre Ward himself, he can ambush you, but he's he's smart with his ambushing. He doesn't just jump in with flurries and jump out. He jump in with some clean punches, tie you up so you can't hit, turn you and jump out, so you never get a chance to 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 actually get a rhythm, to actually put your hand, hands and combinations together. He's not going to let you do that. Now, uh, Andre Ward is a thinker in the ring. He's going to do what's best to demolish you. So, he's not really just an ambush fighter. He, to me, he's an all-around fighter. But, he saw the Jean Pascal fight. He already knows what, what Bad Chad is about. Range finding jab. And he'll stick it out in your face for real. 
Chad to stick that jab in your face and look for the opener to throw his power, power hand. Andre Ward is not going to let him do that. Andre Ward will not let him. Not, I won't say it'll never happen, but Andre Ward ain't about to let it happen. It's going to be few and far between. I think it's going to start off with some close rounds, a lot of grappling on Andre Ward's part. Um, we know it ain't going to be uh, some penalties taken away uh, for for Andre Ward doing it. Because one, he's the champion. Two, it's a lot of money riding on this fight. And three, it hasn't happened before. He He's a clean, I won't say clean, he's an effective aggressor when he wants to be. The only time this f fight is going to be uh, uh, a very offensively minded fight is when Andre Ward wants it to be. He's going to dictate everything about this fight. Really. So, I want to say probably uh, eight rounds of four. That, that's my prediction. Eight rounds of four. Andre Ward uh, run away with it by, I would say, no later than the sixth round, sixth or seventh round. Just, just wear Chad out because he's going to get frustrated Chad might even start uh taking risk but he's really not a risky fighter that's the thing he's a technical fighter he's going to range fine and throw a stiff jab out there to look to set up his power and he ain't never going to be able to set it up never it's a wrap Andre Ward is going to run away with this fight damn that's a short video Oh well, it is what it is. I'm calling eight to four uh, for Andre Ward because he's going to use some effective ambush tactics to keep Chad Dawson off balance, and Dawson will never actually get in the fight. And then Dawson can be happy that he got. Uh, a good payday and go back up to his weight class and defend his title and th that'd be the end of it um, I'm excited for the fight just because I love boxing but do I figure it's going to be a very very competitive fight no so if they're talking smack to each other right back and forth it means nothing they're just trying to sell the fight it ain't it ain't going to be what some might think especially if you're a Chad Dawson fan I feel sorry for you because Chad is going to get dominated mid to late rounds. It, it, it's as simple as that. So, tell me what you think. That's what I think. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on this matter. But uh, until the next video, doses.